everybody and welcome to our webinar for this evening. It is a huge welcome to you all for all the ready-made stores new owners. We are going to be chatting about basic marketing skills and last week we covered the operations of the online store. We unpacked the online store and this is our second complimentary webinar where we are chatting about basic marketing skills. So welcome to everybody. I hope that you are confident with your new online stores. You've received them. We've unpacked them. If this is your first webinar, then I hope to see you at next week's webinar on Tuesday, where we will be unpacking your brand new online shop. But this evening is the second of two complimentary webinars where we chat about basic marketing skills couple of things to keep in mind before we start our presentation for this evening, as well as our journey on e-commerce, is that understanding e-commerce becomes so much easier when we have an openness and a spirit for learning, especially for those of us who are 40 years and older. We were not born with cell phones in our hands, so therefore it is a little bit more of a challenge for us to assimilate all things to do with digital and virtual, but if we are open and have a spirit for learning, we will be absolutely fine. That is me, and I attribute to that at age 45. I've also included some sayings that really resonate with me within the e-commerce environment in terms of people do not buy goods and services, they buy relations, stories, and magic. So if we can keep some of these powerful sayings at top of mind and on point whenever we are creating ads, whether it be Google ads or Instagram or Facebook ads, it's really, really important that we keep in mind that people buy services, goods and services, they buy relations, stories and magic. So may that thread through everything that we are doing online, as well as creating a connection. People don't buy the products or the services they are buying, or they certainly notice a, a connection that you have created through your online ad. That's very important mm -hmm. to keep top of mind, as well as shining amidst all the others, because it's very, very competitive out there. One of the housekeeping tips that I will mention for this evening is if you can please write down your questions. This webinar is completely for you. If you can write down your questions, keep them top of mind. But I am pretty certain or I'm hopeful that by the end of the webinar, when you can present your questions, I hope that I have covered a lot of what your questions are. And most importantly, if you have not attended our webinar, webinar one that we had last week, Tuesday, I will encourage you to attend it so that we can go through a full unwrapping of all of the different features and inclusions of your online shop. But please do give me a chance during this webinar to answer most of your questions. If I have not answered it, answered it, then please do present it at the end of our webinar. This is a saying that I really resonates for me with my online business in terms of leaving no stone unturned when it comes to digital marketing and online advertising. We need to be seeing our site as this entity. And when we have an online business, we are not going to make money overnight. We need to go out and hunt for business in a virtual sense. And therefore, I leave no stones unturned. And I'm going to unfold that with you during our webinar this evening. What does this mean? Okay, so when you have your online site, we need to be generating traffic in order to create sales and to convert sales for the online site. So this picture here is very visual. I'm a visual person. So my online site I see as this fireball, this Mars fireball, and all the different planets around the fireball represent the different micro sites resellers, affiliates, all the different platforms, rewards and loyalty platforms that I have hooked up to the main site. 
So yes, ready-made stores have give, has given you this fireball, but you need to be creating all of the different traffic portals or channels that will eventually connect to the main site. And that's something that we are going to be chatting about this evening. One thing to take note as we embark on our journey of e-commerce is that it takes the same amount of time to sell one product as it does to sell a hundred products. Find ways to sell your products in bulk. Sell more and conserve your energy with less hassle. So preferably if you can find a bundle of hero products that you can sell in mass quantities to business, businesses here in SA, that would be a win-win for you. When you're selling one product to one client, remember the energy that you expend is like selling 100 products to one business. So keep that in mind. And I'm going to mention now, again, what we were chatting about last week, Tuesday, in our first of two complimentary webinars about the customer support and ticketing system. So when you get your online shop from ready-made stores, it actually comes with a customer support knowledge base portal that is complimentary it comes with the sale of the online shop and it includes 60 training downloads 30 training downloads about digital marketing and online advertising and another 30 training downloads about actually raising the flag that there is this incredible customer support portal which I would like you to learn about it next week, Tuesday's webinar, if you didn't intend last week, Tuesday, and it will really assist you with everything to do with your online business that you have purchased from ready-made stores. 60 documents is a lot of documents free of charge. It all comes with your online business, and it also includes over 25 years of intellectual property and marketing expertise. So I encourage you to go to that online portal as well as when you are unpacking and using the dashboard of the online shop that you've received as it will include so much information in there that will assist you on your way in terms of processing orders and how to market your business. So just a reminder about that. Here we're going to be chatting about what are hero products, focus products, key products, a hero product are the products you sell the most of. Customers will typically identify your business by your hero products. According to Parato's 80-20 rule, 80% 80 of your turnover is due to the sale of only 20% of your products. Identifying your hero product is imperative to beginning your marketing journey. So in terms of using your product as a marketing tool, the hero products, you might have 100 products, but only 20% of them will actually sell. Like with me, when I set up my online business, I set it up with 1,200 experiences that I really liked. They were extreme experiences. And guess what? We now have only about 250. It could be less. And of that 250, only 50 of them actually sell as best sellers. So that is the perfect example of what a hero product actually is. Hero products are used to recruit customers and drive sales. They are there in place to make advertising so much easier because you only have to focus on them. They direct customers to your website. They create a taproot system into the main website, which means that you can then upsell once they are in the site you can then upsell to other products that you have available that are less sought after or less of interest to the general public. It also assists with building brand identification. So in essence, a hero product is actually the hook to get people onto your website. And in order to find your hero products, you are very welcome to use Google Trends. I'm also going to share with you Google Trends. So in order to find what your hero products are, I'm going to include the URL for Google Trends and you can go and explore that at your leisure. It's quite a cool, super cool tool to use here. This is a very important URL to keep if you are looking for your Google Trends, your hero products that will assist you on your way. 
I've also included some free online shopping portals. If you want to find some free ways to go and promote your products online, you might want to go and look at Google Shopping, Google My Business. Obviously, Google Shopping is paid for, but they do have a free listing feature. Google My Business and their shop function, Google Shopping and the catalog, which is obviously paid for, but not Google Shopping. Instagram Shopping in the catalog, which is paid for. LinkedIn Shopping and Showcase, as well as WhatsApp for Business. So obviously with Instagram and Facebook, as well as Google, you will be paying for the sponsored ads. But when you create your online business profile with Instagram and Facebook, you do not pay for the shopping catalog feature, nor do you pay to have access to the Google My Business profile, which has an online shop feature. Please do go and explore those. They really are awesome and free of charge. In order to have an Instagram shop, you will need to have a Facebook shop first. And obviously your catalog ads will be paid for, but not the Facebook shopping or the Instagram shopping from the front end. I think what is so awesome is that the social media platforms that we have, Google My Business, Facebook and Instagram, they offer almost like a website within a social media profile and it's pretty much free of charge. So those are worth investigating and uploading your hero products to. I've also included some online shopping price comparison portals. You might want to write these down so that you can go and explore them further. With Bid or Buy, you would be paying commission per sale. With Price Check, Shop Mania, and Smart Price, you would pay a pay per click per sale, which is very competitively priced. Take a lot is about 30% commission, and every shop will offer you some sort of commission as well that you would need to pay them. They are a direct competitor to Take a Lot. Well worth writing down and keeping top of mind for advertising your hero products. These are also some of my must follow websites. I really love these e-commerce platforms for various reasons. Superbulous Shapewear, One Day Only, Feltskun, Zuki and BarkBox, all for very different reasons. Please do write them down, go have a look, find your own e-commerce platforms that you really you know, admire and epitomize that you want your own online shop to benchmark against. So have a look at them on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. See how they are doing things. Do not copy them. Certainly do not plagiarize, but go and look at how they are doing things and how you can replicate that within your own business. Most importantly, I've included Shop SA1. They are on Instagram. I think that they have encapsulated how to shop online. They really have here in SA, they sell fashion accessories and they have all of their customers representing their brand. It is simple, it is streamlined, it is completely uncomplicated and I absolutely love how they are selling their product online. So please do go have a look at them. Same thing for Feltskun. I love Feltskun, how we have taken a very drab, frumpy old shoe that my dad used to wear, and we've just replaced it with colored laces and a colored sole of the shoe. And uh, they are doing so exceptionally well, especially with the way that they upsell and the way that they increase their, what they call their average order value and their Black Friday campaign as well is absolutely spectacular. So these are the e-commerce shops that I follow. You will have your own e-commerce that you like, but go for the big boys and have a look at them and aspire to be them and benchmark your own online business in terms of how they are doing things. This is a blog article that I have come across in terms of the ultimate guide for social selling. I'm actually going to share it with you so that you can keep the link for further reading. So this is another area of e-commerce that is very, very important. 
is Canva. We need to be creating creative, all sorts of design, intro and exit slides, Facebook, social media, different creatives, all the different sizing for LinkedIn. Essentially, everything that is design related for our e commerce businesses can be found on Canva. They have a free subscription and they also have a paid for subscription. I myself am not using Canva every day, but I know my colleague who assists massively with all of our digital media and digital design requirements. She is on Canva all day, every day. And I would highly, highly recommend Canva with this specific subscription or membership. There is very little reason why you would need to have an external designer to assist you. We all know that social media, YouTube, et cetera, it's all about graphics and graphic presentation. And if you are creative, then you will be able to use Canva on your own. It is basically access to tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of different templates for anything that you can imagine. And if you're not design orientated like myself, then there might be someone in the family or someone on your team who will absolutely love Canva. But highly, highly, highly recommended for all of your graphic design needs. And I'm going to share that with you now. They also have, I can go on later, they have a free subscription and they have a paid for subscription. I think we pay about um, maybe 12 US dollars a month, but it is money well spent. When you think about how much it costs to get an external designer to create Facebook banner for you or a brochure or logos or anything, I highly recommend this. It really is a brilliant subscription to have and very, very affordable. So a little bit of an intro about social media. This is what we are going to be going through. Account setup, social media scheduling tools, the basics of posting, boosting posts, let's not forget videos, building an online community, using hashtags, shout outs and tagging, call to action, direct links to product pages, and choosing your social media platform wisely. So when it comes to social media, you will need to identify your target audience on social media. If you do not know how, then you might want to go and profile all of your competitors or followers. So go and actually go and have a look at who the competitors are and then who their customers are, their age, their gender, the type of jobs they may have, where they are, what stage in life they are at, what sort of interests they may have, and so forth. When you are creating social media platforms, please remember to use an identifiable username. Avoid nicknames if you can, but if you need to shorten your, your company name, that is fine, but keep everything consistent. Use your contact details and your web address. Don't be shy to get your contact details out there. My details have been online for years and I have had very little issue by having my details online. If there's anything bullying or some randomness that's coming through on social media, I just do a, a delete and block. It, it really is as simple as that. So get your details out there. You also want to have a completed bio, keep it short and sweet, which is really hard, but try to consolidate and be really precise about what you do in a sentence. See if you can do that. Also include or have as backup an introductory post or posts, as well as a little intro video in terms of what it is that your business sells. Social media schedulers, I've included the top 10. I have only ever used the top three to include Zoho Social, Hootsuite, which is has an incredible learning portal, as well as Facebook for Facebook and Instagram posts. That is for free. Hootsuite also has a free membership. Obviously, whenever something is for free, it will always offer you limited accessibility. But at least with a free subscription, you can then sign up for it and just get a feel for it 
before you decide to take a paid for subscription or not. And I have also included the other different social media scheduling platforms, all of which will have very similar in terms of needing to pay for some sort of subscription and probably having a free introductory period. I've included the link for Hootsuite. As I said, I have used them before. I really, really enjoy them. They're absolutely outstanding. And what I love most about Hootsuite are all of the different learning courses, certifications, examinations that you can do, all to do with social media. So if you're looking to do some courses, I wouldn't go anywhere else but from the horse's mouth. And to me, Hootsuite represents just that. It's global. It is a massive company. And everything that they have online there will be up to date, cutting edge. And I have seen in some job descriptions that they ask for relevant and heavyweight accreditations. And I believe that Hootsuite is definitely one of them over and above any others that you may come across. When it comes to creating and planning posts, I use something as simple as Word or Excel. You don't need anything fancy, okay? So you can create your content planner using Word or Excel. You can use a free design application such as Canva, which I have shared with you. You can also use a free Facebook post scheduler until you get the hang of things, until you feel confident, and until you're making some sales, then you might go and purchase a subscription. You want to be using product-related hashtags, no more than three to five, that is the latest trend. You can also use local influencers for marketing. Perhaps they are a customer who really loves what you do. If it's a service that you offer or a product that you are selling, try to use customers who absolutely think that you are amazing and they have become your ambassadors. You can also promote your hero product within your planning schedule. You can also boost posts or videos. Really, really important for us to be thinking about videos as well as the visibility to share to others using stories on Instagram and Facebook. Be mindful that organic scrolling is declining. So therefore, we need to be finding other ways to keep boosting our posts, either by paying for that or sharing it to stories to get some more visibility. Always include a call to action. Tell people what it is that they need to be doing. Do they need to book or shop or download or learn more or call now, etc.? Tell your customers what it is that they need to be doing in all of your posts. Something also to remember is about content repurposing. It is also known as user generated content. That is when we are taking information that has high engagement, high traction from other similar pages and we are sharing it to our own. Or maybe we're taking a blog post or a social media post from 12 months ago and we are just repurposing it for our post in the moment this year on this day. That also saves some time. Online communities can be built within Facebook and that's also a really super cool way to grow some exposure for your business. But try not to be too salesy or salesy at all within those closed community groups and just share what is relatable. People will know ultimately what it is that you are selling. Some content ideas, we all get stuck for what it is that we need to be posting. So think about having lots of introductory posts about the business, some coming soon teaser content, as well as product posts and sales content posts of which it should be a split of 80-20. So 80% product and informational and 20% of a hard sell. Customer reviews you can include in posts and videos. Video demo content can be included about your product or service. Really, really important to do unwrappings, unboxing, generally just over about the product or the service to include content repurposing. Again, it's super key engaging content, ask questions, get customers to share, get them to engage with you. It's all about them. Keep that in mind, as well as announcements about new features, trending content to include unwrapping, unboxing, etc. 
as well as something lighthearted that is inspirational, aspirational, motivational to include answers to frequently asked questions or unique selling points. So there are 12 themes that you are welcome to write down there. That means that if you had a schedule from a Monday to Friday or a Monday to Saturday, which is six days of the week, you would have a theme for every day of the week for 12 consecutive days. So that is six days this week, six days next week, and then you alternate. And that means that your feed is always very fresh and unique, and it will not have what we call audience fatigue. I've included here the various different social media platforms and how I have compartmentalized them in that Facebook is generally speaking for old money. It is for 40 year olds and over it includes advertising, closed community groups, a shop functionality. You can really engage with customers, set up appointments, set create events, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Instagram is more for new money up into the age of 39, 40. It includes a shopping functionality. It's reliant on hashtags, quality content that is relatable and interesting. And we need to be including call to actions and also boosting posts. TikTok is or has historically been for the youngsters. It is becoming more so for the people over the age of 40. I know quite a lot of people in their 40s who are enjoying it for entertainment purposes, not for time and purposes, as I was about to say. And we also have Twitter, which is more for influencers. That would be your authors, your politicians, your actors, etc., your public figures. It is also 60% male and very US centric. So if you have products for males in the US, that is your place. I have also seen quite a few e-commerce platforms on Twitter as well. I really love this blog post, which I want to share with you, especially for new businesses. And that is that successful posts don't need to be complicated. And Facebook has provided some free templates that will assist you with posting. I'm just going to include this now. So save time with free templates. MailChimp. MailChimp is absolutely amazing when it comes to email marketing. We are going to go through them now. It is absolutely everything that you could ever dream of, if, especially if you're just starting out and you have a small email distribution list. You can also plug MailChimp into your online platform and it's fully automated. I love the interface. I love what they offer on YouTube in terms of tutorials. I find it very user-friendly, especially for small businesses. We are going to go on there shortly. Just a brief intro in terms of pay-per-click. Pay-per-click is also known as a marketing strategy which allows an advertiser to place an advertisement on Google, which will appear when a potential customer searches a keyword related to the ad. If the ad is clicked, the advertiser will pay a pay-per-click rate for this advertisement to be featured. Important to note, to complete your groundwork, homework, research, and framework before placing ads. Don't just place ads willy-nilly. You really do need to know what you are doing. Otherwise, you can throw quite a lot of money down the tube without any sales whatsoever. Another area of our business that is doing really, really well is WhatsApp for Business. Get that loaded onto your WhatsApp. Customers really are enjoying WhatsApp for Business. They are not enjoying email as much as they love the instant messaging feature and all the different catalog features provided by WhatsApp for Business. I think I have a link for that as well. That we might, yes, we will. So what I love here is why businesses choose WhatsApp to meet customers on their terms. So I used to be quite resistant to messaging, direct messaging, and was very much old school. You know, we need to do everything by email. But the truth is you're in business to sell products or services and we need to be doing it that is easiest for the customer. And for them, it's all about what's up or most definitely for the South African market, that's for sure. So here with WhatsApp, I'm going to share that as well. And we'll go online and have a little look. With all that we have learned this evening, and it really is a very speedy session, 
I want you all to remember that it takes 10,000 hours to make a master and practice makes permanent. So on this journey with your new online shop, it's not going to happen overnight. We do need to apply ourselves. We need to be aware of all the different channels available to us. What is suitable for one person's business is not suitable for another. It's like with everything. All of our businesses are unique. We are unique. And therefore, the different channels that work for us, the different ad campaigns that work for us will definitely be unique as well. This is the landing page for MailChimp. I absolutely love it. I find it quite costly if you have a bigger database size. But for us, we won't be using MailChimp because our database is quite big. But here they have some great options. You can even start up for free, which includes marketing CRM, creative assistant, mail, website builder, MailChimp, domain, and forms and landing pages. Or you can opt for their package for 190 and you get a whole lot more services. It is really good value for money and something definitely worth looking at. And here you can see that you can get your business online with websites, online stores, appointment scheduling, market your business through email, landing page, digital ads, and social media, audience management. You can then go in and break up your whole database, you can segment it into males and females and age groups, and people have bought certain products, other people have bought other products, and you can make your email campaigns personal. Something to really, really keep top of mind is the importance across the board of personalization. People can feel when you are advertising to them, and it is too general. They love to have something that is targeted and that is personal. Please do keep that in mind. MailChimp also had these super cool creative tools, including Content Studio, Creative Assistant, dynamic content and subject line helper. I mean, where do you find stuff like that? And I find the longer that I am in e-commerce, I see all of these super cool tools that are all fueled by artificial intelligence that will help us to create more personalization for every step of the customer journey. We are human beings. We are using to doing things the old school way. We now have these digital online platforms, but we are still human. So everything is about personalization and the customer experience and helpfulness. And if we get that right, you will definitely, definitely start seeing some sales. So go and have a look at MailChimp in more detail. So this is Canva, which I was chatting about earlier. They also have a free subscription. But here, I mean, you can just see they have social media, marketing, office, custom prints, cards, and invitations. Within social media, you can find every template under the sun for Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and video editor. For marketing, you can do business cards, flyers, logos, posters, brochures, and menus. For the office, you can do presentations, resumes, graphs, planners, letterheads, and calendars, and so on. You can also go to all of your courses, tutorials, and their blog. It is unbelievable for a really, really affordable price. We have the pro version which is 119 per annum or 1299 US dollars per month. Exceptional value for money, especially when I think historically before Canva, how much I was spending on a top graphic designer. It's now all available within Canva. So there's that. What's up for business is also outstanding. You can start thinking of some questions that you want to present to me. Here we're going to chat about what's up for business. Really amazing. It's free to download and was built with a small business owner in mind. It makes it easy to personally connect with your customers, highlight your products and services, and answer their questions throughout their shopping experience. You can create quick replies. You can also create a business profile similar to Instagram or Facebook. You can label chats depending on where they are in their customer journey. And you can also create automated messages as well as an online catalog. So I highly, highly recommend WhatsApp for Business. We use it as a sales tool, a form of bridging between the internet and the website. 
customers are always messaging us on the website and that is definitely something to keep in mind is the power of WhatsApp for business, which is for free. I would also recommend that if you do create your online catalog, that you stick to your hero products only and nothing too complicated because you have to keep all of that up to date. That is it for this evening. We have been through our presentation and I hope you have enjoyed it and that you will come and join us next week on Tuesday if you have not been to our basic store operations webinar where we unpack your online shop. We go and familiarize ourselves with the back end, the customer support portal, the functionalities, as well as everything to do with the automations and the inclusions of your online shop in terms of the blog, etc. So please do join us every Tuesday. This is number two of two complimentary webinars. And you really do need to be attending both webinars to get the benefits. And I'm going to be here for the next five minutes. Please ask me some questions. It feels weird if you don't ask me questions. And Wednesday and Thursday, I will be chatting about intermediate and advanced digital marketing and online advertising. And I will definitely be available to assist you on a Wednesday and a Thursday if you have signed up for those. So fire away or you are welcome to exit the webinar. If you have finished, I will be here for the next five minutes or so to answer any questions. Thank you very much for joining us. Take care and see you next week.